Swarms links to 30 months. Their threshold only increases by two per rep, and they have the lowest gap between base and threshold. Yeah, but like, they also die on season one. Every time villagers have nothing to eat during a break, they will gain two sacks of hunger instead of one. Double yield with production cycles. Uh, we need housing for everybody. Global food production is slower. That's kind of rude. Uh, we don't want to go to hostility seven. Fortunately, I wasn't planning to, but good to know. That one or this one? This one, I think. A greenhouse. Immediately got something that I can put on top of fertile soil. That seems really good. Those are roots. Skewers are like hardly incredible. They're not exactly like super, super efficient, but it is 10 food for eight food. So I think I want to build that pretty quickly. I can actually do consumption control this time, which is nice. Although all of my food is that half of skewers. I would just want to turn off roots, I guess. And then the play here is, do I go straight to the glade? I guess that's the question. Definitely go that way. I don't think I open it. But I doubt it'll be fast enough anyway. <laughs> that would be great, Sean. Also, I might dive at it like Zephyr. Like, it's very possible that I would. Not enough woodcutters. I don't think that's enough woodcutters. A similar machine for dispensing scotch, but only if you win the run. I haven't had scotch much at all recently. I don't drink very much anymore. On occasion, but... Tova. Do not go out of my way to find reasons to drink anymore. And if I ever do, it's pretty light. Streamer dinner dispenser would unironically become incredibly rich. Sounds kind of like Grubhub. DoorDash. Whatever. So I'm trying to make a... Where'd it go? Oh, I didn't click on it yet. Cook house. I need 12 planks. That's not happening anytime soon. <laughs> We're not going to be doing that particularly quickly. There's a site that lets people donate money to deliver the streamer specific food. Uh, you could donate to PayPal, and then I would use your money to buy the food that I wanted the most, which sounds even better. 
something broke on him. I've reopened cash lowers hostility by 15 points. All right. Work out some way to get tools. I don't know what it'll be. Probably priority on that. Mmm, delicious burritos. Sounds pretty good. Let's go housing first. Get the resolve while we're at it. And we took Cook House over tool thingy. I am. Um, I don't mind. I think if you get food, you just kind of win in this game. Complete two Glade events. Gets parts, food. This is more food. Got ancient tablets. A little difficult. I think I'll eventually find an ancient tablet. It would be very strange if I didn't. 22 beaver resolve gives five roots per minute. Currently we're at hostility one. I would need to build a whole bunch of beaver houses. Like right now. I think I would need to build too many beaver houses. Cloaks. I don't think I can do that. That is disappointing. That would be really nice to be able to do. That'd be really nice to be able to do. Make sure I can't do it. If I knew who the traitor was. <laughs> Could summon a traitor who beavers liked. I can't make biscuits. I can't make pickled goods. I can't put them somewhere comfortable, can I? Where'd the thing go? The thing that makes the food. I feel like things just aren't in sensible places. Cookhouse. I need two beaver houses and one normal. That would give plus three, you're saying? So it rounds up. So that would put me at 15, and if I got hostility to zero, that would do it. How long does it have to last for? 30 seconds. I think that's possible. He <laughs> soft locked. <laughs> soft locked in the tutorial. Oh no. Oh no. Beaver houses cost 12 planks. 12 times 8 is 96. I'll need two regular houses and two beaver houses. I think I can do it. I get plus two from this as well, actually. This is huge. Five roots per minute. How many people does that actually feed? Five roots per minute. I'm acting like it's a big deal. 
I mean, I don't think it's actually that big a deal. Ten tools as well. Three new beavers. Oh, there you go. That's an immediate use for the ten tools. Gets the rest of my stuff set up. Joyful beavers sparks joy. A little bit. It's like 36 seconds to produce and I need to do it 12 times. I can't spend six minutes doing this, so I'm going to have to build another one. I desperately need to be working this as fast as possible. Yeesh, it's, uh, it's close. <laughs> it's close. I think I can do it, though. I think I can. What is in these right now? That. I just need to make enough wood. Which is how much? 12 times 8, 90 something. But I also need to build these. They're on the way. I need to build this. So we don't need to build that. How did we take Joyful Beavers? We clicked on it. <laughs> Silly question. arguably have thought about it for a while, yeah? I wonder how long those take to construct. It's gonna be really hard for me to tell when I can stop. It's not actually it's not actually six minutes, is it? Because the storm it's less. one builder. Seventy-eight wood. How much is in storage? I'm not burning wood, am I? I need to not be burning wood. I wonder if I was. I mean, I kind of was. Six planks already. So I need another 18 planks. 18 planks. Nine times eight is 72. 76 there. You force delivery. Only one beaver house is necessary. You sure? I don't know if that's true. It's 
back seating either way. Shout out to clearance already. Almost have ten done. Now is not an appropriate time to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Planks already delivered to houses. Nope. No, everything that I bought so far uses wood, not planks. Well, I guess those are there, aren't they? I see why you're asking, but yeah, the answer is no, not yet. I just need one more produ production cycle from all of these people. Like I need every single one of them to do the production once. Yes, 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 yes. Very nearly. Wait, that's only true if I already had 12. Did I already have 12? I can find out by doing that, I guess. There's no way that I have five. That's not the number that I have. I'm going to build the other one right next to the warehouse. But prioritize this one. Two twenty two, which is actually one fifty. I prefer them. Is that going to be enough, or, or what's the plan? Oh, I just added hostility. I can turn that off again. Jeez, it builds fucking slow, though. <laughs> Ten. Still ten. Horse delivery. Horse delivery. Horse delivery. Twenty. Twenty two.
All right, apparently I didn't need to do as many as I thought. Cool. All well, I'll build another one anyway, because actually, do I want to build another one anyway? Probably not, right? Maybe build a big shelter now that I've made all of these um, blanks for questionable reasons. That'll finish housing everybody easily. I can now probably like delete two of these. One of them has a blight cyst on it. That's okay. We'll need to make some fabric out of those. And these cap it at eight. How long do I have to maintain beaver happiness? Uh, it's 30 seconds. I don't think anything's going to bring their happiness lower, though, so. Crushed it. The only thing is I can't chop trees in the meanwhile, but that's not, like, a huge deal. Certainly is Tamoid. It's a barge for some roots. I guess the next thing that I want is the cookhouse. Checkly requires 12 planks. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. I do want it though. I shouldn't have built this out of planks, I guess. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this giving me tools? Oh my god, it's giving me tools. Oh, it's such a strong start. It's such a strong start. All right, deliver. Deliver. Carpenter? Are you kidding me? You can't just give me a carpenter. You can't just give me a carpenter. The girl kind of does exactly the same thing as the other. Well, okay, it makes copper bars and ale poorly. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, we take a carpenter. Furnace herbalists camp. <laughs> Good bricks. I need complex food and television or I will leave and stop streaming. I don't own a television. Watching the World Cup was kind of hard. I watched like highlights on Twitter mostly. You don't even know. You don't even know my struggle chat. I'm gonna take a herbalist's camp over a furnace. I don't care about copper bars at all. Bricks, I think I'm okay with just making badly. Or I can get like a brickyard later or something. I was impressed by the herbalist camp last time. It felt like it really mattered. And we have the thing which makes hunger even worse for us now, so. These all on avoid glades. They are now. Um, consumption control, I don't want to be eating the roots, and I want to build that, which I'm now doing. I don't want to make planks in here anymore, and I want to build the carpenter as well. The carpenter can make planks for me. Oh, I have root delivery, yeah? Five roots per minute. 
So skewer recipe. Roots, eggs, vegetables. These are roots. Yes, herbs as well. Storm's on its way. So I'm going to make skewers out of roots. And either of these is fine. Probably prefer mushrooms, but I can actually set that. Well, I have eggs from trees. This is priority. This game's so good. Holy shit, this game is good. That was fun. Like boom, 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 everything happening at once. The ability of the game to have like the first turn be that different from other first turns is just really, really cool. Active from hostility one. Uh, nobody is homeless though. Perhaps another shelter, because I'm going to get more people showing up. people does the big shelter hold? Hopefully enough. Uh, six is the answer. Just realized that I've completely screwed everything up. I used all of my planks. Anyway, we're storming. So I'm going to have to make eight planks here. <laughs> That's fine. Not what I wanted, but it's fine. You liked it when the streamer said it's storm in time and stormed all over the audience? Me too. I also enjoyed that quite a lot. That's 20 skewers per... It's more than 20 skewers per food cycle. I only have 13 villagers. I don't actually need that much going on, but it'll do. It'll be fine. I'm not burning oil, but I am burning coal. I guess that's fine. There's fertile ground there, which is really good. I already took a greenhouse. Greenhouse makes herbs and mushrooms. Do mushrooms go into skewers? Mushrooms? Oh shit! Mushrooms plus roots is skewers. So perhaps it's time to start catching rainwater already? So that I can greenhouse next year. Can you pet a dog in this game? Um, I don't think there are any dogs in this game that I know of so far. So I guess it's kind of shit. That's unfortunate. I had been enjoying it, but yeah, you're right. It's actually kind of terrible. That needs to get finished, and I don't understand why it hasn't yet, because I had enough... Um, 
had enough things. When I looked. I have nine planks there. I don't have any builders. I worked out why it hasn't gotten finished yet. I am so smart. Um, the one with food or the one without food? I'm going to go the one with food, I think. I have worked it out. Uh, I guess I guess I don't actually have to do that. Do I know what cornerstones are good? I think stuff that reduces hostility is good for longer in the game. Stuff that scales is good for longer in the game. Stuff that does something now is good for early in the game. Most of them are pretty good for some reason. I haven't taken the ones that give you stuff when you open glades very often at all. I do not personally find myself opening tons of glades almost ever. I need planks for this. Well, I am about to make the thing that makes planks, so that's fine. Now I have um, skewers. I want to never eat this stuff again. Wait, these are good at the carpenter. Keep planks at like 12. I haven't done any trading for a while. Wizard resolve is low. That seems bad. I don't want that. Took the one that was 20 clay plus reeds on every glade, it seemed fine. You were low on clay the whole run and just be lined to keep the small glades. I have um, been prioritizing trying to reduce hostility as much as I can. So I haven't generally been opening a lot of small glades. But I think if you were doing something other than that, probably the ones that liked you opening glades would be a lot better. Are you not allowed to eat skewers or something? I feel like the lizards should probably try eating skewers and then they would be happier. Pack of provisions. This needs planks, this needs planks. This is making planks. Alright. Hostility has gone up to two. Yeah. And I made it more. What does the gold boss head thing mean? It means there's going to be a challenge in that glade, and if we don't do it, we will die! Or something like that. Close to. Close to dying. Almost death. Near certain. have eight lizard houses in five minutes 30. Five coal deliver- oh my god. Eight lizard houses. That is a lot of cloth. That is a lot of cloth that I do not currently have. Also a lot of bricks that I don't currently have. 
24. So I need to make 15 bricks. And 19 cloth. Uh, doing some math here. I have no materials to do that with. <laughs> I was going to make it harder. That seems kind of impossible. Yeah. That would have been sweet. Get two timed orders in one run. But yeah, that's, uh, that's I think, impossible here. Oil, coal, and wood. Sacrifice them. Um, 20 copper bars. You can turn copper bars into tools. I think I'm into this. Plus one resin. Resin production kind of matters because we're opening trees with resin in them. Aid for the beaver clan. Beaver deck wins. I think we're I think we're beaver deck wins here. Blight extractor, woodcutter's prayer, lose all stored fuel. But then get plus one to wood production. What if? What if I sacrificed all the fuel to get closer to that quest? <laughs> and then I took this. Like I could, right? I want to see if this glade wants oil too. I think plus one wood production is pretty good. Wait, what? That's ethereal? Where does it say it's ethereal? Oh, there. Can I sell everything without unpausing the game, though? You don't buy fuel. That's unfortunate. I think I could have. Every completely infected building generates 3 amber per minute, but also adds 15 to hostility. I think that would kill me if I don't want Woodcutter's Prayer to just reroll. 10% villager speed, one global resolve. Or I could take Exploration Expedition, which is pretty strong. Pretty strong. I'll just go for the global resolve. 10% villager speed is a big deal. That's more what I'm interested in, I think. It's 15 packs of building materials? Holy shit. I didn't realize. Ten planks times eight, eighty planks. Four hundred wood? I probably have that much wood. You know how it says that the other queen's orders will go to the other settlements? Do you think that your choices impact what orders the AI gets and their score? That's an interesting question. I don't know. Bunch of bricks, some tablets. An explorer's lodge. Wealth effect for every rebuilt or salvaged ruin. That seems worth building. That's a lot of fertile ground. It's also a lot of roots. And I took the camp that is able to harvest these mushrooms. Uh, very happy. It's a good looking glade. I think I want to keep. Make sure I want to keep these. Deeper resolve is low because they're all cutting down trees. us now. I 
Everybody wants planks. Everybody wants planks. Really enjoying watching me play this game. My learning methodology is very neat. Thank you for the cool stream. You're very welcome. Just curious if there's any interaction between the other AI. I don't think so. It seems like it would be way too much work to do that. It would be cool, but um, I highly doubt it is actually a thing. Beavers were happier I could get a point of reputation from lizards right now. Well, not a full point, but you know. What does this do? Percent chance of doubling the yield with each... What the fuck? <laughs> That's really good. Actually, real good. It appears I can build a hearth. I have builders. What did it get? What did it do? What did which do? This one? This one? I don't remember what you're even asking about. For the working effects of the dungeon, minus 18 penalty to resolve for woodcutters and gatherers. And 175% in patience growth speed. 0.65 per minute. So that's like a lot of impatience, actually. Hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. While I am in Drizzle, I'm just going to start calling Drizzle Spring, I think. While I'm in Spring, I have a 20% chance of doubling the yield with each production cycle. That's got to be good. Somebody should actually do the building here. That would be nice. Oh shit, lizards are eating skewers. Happy, happy lizards. So greenhouses go here. Probably just start with one though. I could run this. It would be three people for plus one global resolve. I don't want to do that at the moment. But at times I will be able to run that, I guess. Blight roots, blight rot. Blight rot is gonna kill me soon. What's going on here? I have too many planks. No, I don't. Clearance. Cool. Is there an ancient tablet here? There is. I didn't even recognize that that was happening, but that's an excellent reason to care about that quest. Because I have an order for an ancient tablet.
Mushrooms, meat, roots. Should get this harvesting going as quickly as I can. I want to get the warehouse built before this is done so that they can drop everything off at that warehouse and not have to walk as far. I should have built this up here, actually. I'm going to. This way they don't have to walk as far. I need another brick, looks like. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> It has 20 bricks in it! I think at some point I knew that and was excited about it. But then I sure as hell forgot. I can upgrade this neighborhood already. Do I want that or resolve? Okay, upgrade this neighborhood. Everything come together this run? Yeah, it's a really strong start. of provisions I would make out of probably herbs right now actually. Seems fine. Mix of building materials from planks. Needed 15. Can I often get second hearth quickly? Uh yeah. I think so. If this counts as quickly. I'm not actually gonna man it, but I want to harvest these. So, you know. One day I'll use something other than the 2x2 two two decorations. I. Okay, have fun. I'm not going to. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes I actually do because the two by twos won't fit. That is the only reason that I have them. So many skewers. All right, I need to start thinking about where I'm going after the next storm. There, probably. Feels doable. Oh, and I did the thing. I did the thing. I'm about to have my bricks, and lizards are very happy. Even prefer treatment of them. Okay, this is fucked. This is fucked. Oops. Oops. I mean, it only kills three. Fortunately. <laughs> Maybe I even end up being fast enough. I don't know. Uh, I am a level neighborhood, which gives me a lot of health. I have eight spark deer. I want mushrooms and herbs. Sounds about right. I think that's right. 
What are my other species? I don't think I've seen them yet. Go, 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 go. I probably lose three. Feels like I lose three. I'm at hostility zero, which is like too little. Prestige 17. Relics. One ancient tablet. More food. Blueprint. Lowers, lowers forest hostility, which I'm not sure is actually good. It's unfortunate. My people are so happy, but they're also about to die. Yeah, that's kind of on me. Harpies. That's more bricks. They all just die. Don't have housing, right? Maybe. How different would I say the game is for unlocked tech tree versus unlocked? Mm, this definitely made a difference. I think I'm actually fine. Feels kind of unreasonable and undeserved, but I think I'm actually fine. I remembered just in time. Blight HUD is Z. Z. So I can just run one person here now, I guess. else shall I do? Get more greenhouse production maybe. Probably don't have enough of this for it though. Deliver soon. Do this a bit. Keep doing this. Keep chopping trees. I think most of the advanced buildings are just like doing the same things that the other buildings can do in a different way. So it adds more variety. You have to like learn more and more and more different buildings. You have to make do with having... It's more common for you to get offered blueprints which sort of do something you can already do. 
which is a bit of a, a difficulty increase. But the main thing that is like feeling like it's actually a new part of the game is the rain collectors making stuff on fertile ground. And other than that, and even that isn't that big a deal. Other than that, it just feels like the same game with more things unlocked. Which is good, I think. I think that's what you want it to feel like, probably. Unlocks increase the variance of your runs. Yeah, I, I think I agree. That is how I would say that too. What's up, Doc? Thanks for the 14 months. Herpes resolve is low. Even though you're eating those delicious skewers. Unbelievable. Am I saving turning in my order until after the storm? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't even have to turn it in then if I don't want to. Turn it in whenever I would like. These will end up on some sort of YouTube, yeah. I don't know if they'll go on the main channel or the variety channel. The storm is so long. Holy moly. I feel like some events early there were smugglers that gave you any blueprint, those disappear at higher difficulty. No. I haven't gotten one of those for a couple of runs. But I've definitely gotten them at high difficulty. Is there, um, don't have any packs of provisions yet. Okay. Looks like I got through here just about quick enough. Well, harpies are really upset all of a sudden for some reason. What happened? Keep goods twice or... Ooh. So I could keep the ancient tablet and do this quest instead with it. Oil production is kind of good though. I think I like oil production. Getting the market is just too difficult, so I'll probably be taking this one, but I don't have to yet. I can deliver this now. I have zero amber. So I can look at this, but I can't buy it. Wait, I could be making more fabric this entire time? Didn't realize. Local taxes! 20 amber for every 100 ale. It's a lot of amber. I think I'm just taking export specialization. I want to get the beaver quest done anyway, right? Packs of building materials. Saves me a lot of wood right now. This isn't broken, but it's like fine.
Uh, what do I need to do this cycle? Greenhouse should be fine. My skewer ingredients are looking good. Maybe I run one more person on that. Don't have great resolve. Wait, you're hungry? That's why you're so upset. Okay, I, I definitely need more people on skewers then. Huh. She forgot to eat. Well, I do have everything turned off, like all the non-complex food, deliberately. But apparently I need to actually have skewers ready to go if I do that. 300 forest hostility while I work on this, and then it will decrease hostility by 20, and it's free. I'm getting a lot of these, it feels like. Uh, this is another place I can use the big foraging camp. I dropped two from the something I could do this. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh take two from there. Oh fuck. Me three from there? Eventually they'll go and they'll actually eat, so that'll be good. I'll allow eating of roots just in case people go and there are no skewers. Do you think they actually just forgot to eat? Like, like the game just bugged out? Probably not, right? I wouldn't hate building another hearth. It feels kind of ludicrous, but uh, there's stuff to do down here, and I want to like open these glades, and I don't want to. Have oh, there are so many glades actually to open around here. So it feels a little bit silly, but. There's definitely an upside. Maybe build a warehouse here for sure, and then we can think about building the hearth as well. Hey, bolt the burb. Looks like I didn't get the extra on packs of materials from the first two building materials that I made. It's too bad. There we go. Everything's good. Actually, I could send six pop from here over there. Move costs five wood. And have... Another tier resolve, and then I could get Harpy resolve. Do I have a builder? I don't have a builder though. Harpy resolve while doing this thing. I think this should keep pace with the cysts, probably. Why can't hearths overlap? Could just make it a death zone. For the villagers who are getting on your nerves, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where this extra beaver came from. I didn't realize that I had that. Is 
Is there a way to tell when your next lot of people are coming? I feel like there should be. Hearths are resting spots. Every villager needs to rest like every two minutes or so. So if you don't build hearths, they need to run all the way back to rest. It is true. That's a long way to walk. On the other hand, they do burn fuel. Hostility just went up, and I'm not sure why. But it did. It did go up. Does this go up more and more? Nope. I don't know why hostility just went up. Oh, this hearth is out. I worked out why hostility went up. Could also be just getting reputation from lizards. Don't know which one's better to do. Probably harpies first, because they go up by less. Why do some villagers idle even though they're assigned to a building? Uh, probably because they have no task. I think this person has no task in the building. I've limited everything. Workers also need to rest every two minutes. Yeah, maybe that was the answer you actually were looking for. I don't. I mean, that's not really idling, that's resting. In my brain, anyway. Plus two clay and stone. And four wildfire essence. If you could work out some way to make enough fuel to run <laughs> all of your hearths, that would be cool. I don't know if I can do it. It's 0.02 per minute. That's really not very much. Maybe we try this instead. How much reputation has gained so far? Zero. Yeah, that sounds about right. Farms always have stuff to do. Although, if you planted all of your fields, you wouldn't have anything left to do for that season, I guess. So maybe that's what you're seeing happen, is that you're through the stuff you have to do that season. Don't know. It's a long way to walk. You're always uncertain about the farm. That's why you always leave your humans on it. I think that is a super reasonable thing to do. More people. Is it six more people? It's five more people. Some clay. Kind of need more harpies. Suddenly I have 93 skewers. Good. <laughs> I'm down to overproduce food. I have 314 food. I mean, okay, maybe I'm not down to overproduce food by that much. Mm. So I was thinking we upgrade this now. What's the best way to do that? Maybe with a beaver house? Keep choosing to believe that I make good enough planks to do something like that. And then decorations. Is there a max number of fields a single farm can handle? I think it depends a little bit on your perks, but I've sort of been running it on the assumption that one human can do seven or eight. 
ish, something like that. Depends a little bit on how far they are from the hearth as well, because they'll go rest once a season or twice a season. Wait, humans have faster work speed on hearths? I didn't know that. I thought they had more um more output from them, but I didn't realize they had faster work speed. I think I want this hearth. Imagine having a place to put it. <laughs> delicious, delicious beaver house. I have six builders at the moment? That seems like way too many. Did I not put my... Maybe I didn't put my lumberjacks back or something? Feels like I didn't. Probably don't actually want to get this last tick of reputation. Oh, I did anyway. A trapper's camp or a supplier? Flower? Flower can be made out of roots. Which I have an endless supply of. Water skins, more planks. I don't need a trapper's camp super much. I would immediately have all those eggs. Suppliers, okay though. I just realized I should really build that. Okay, so I have two seconds left, which is perfect. This is all perfect. Um, I'm going to presumably... So this exists now, it goes like over here. Hostility one is fine. You have four people. I know there's another woodcutter's camp somewhere. I wonder where it is. Oh, it's like right out there. My thought here was, I want to harvest this. Because that'll give me some stone. Sometimes. I want my hearth here. This hearth is going to be useful for doing this glade, this glade, this glade, and that glade. That just has to be worth putting down. I am very concerned about fuel. I am very concerned about fuel. Yep, sure am. This is Beaver Resolve. I did my packs of building materials. I need to be sending stuff. It's a trader. Four mushrooms. A tool? I don't think I'm sending oil. Send some reeds. 
insects I could have sent. I should have sent insects. Because yeah. I lose all of those because the season changes. So that was my chance. The spire still planned for tonight. It's in balance against dinner, yeah. Are you working? I think they're working. Pretty sure we're doing that. I think fairly easily, actually. There would be no real issue with putting three more woodcutters on. We move this down here. It's completely fine. There's no issue with taking this right now either. It gives me three more beavers. A forester's hut would do something with the thing. It would make crystallized dew, in fact, which turns into tools. So here we go, my first forester's hut. Mm, there is the whole fuel thing. The whole fuel thing seems like kind of a deal. I think I just did a lot of building and that I'll be okay. I want to see how this person's like walking all the way up that path. We don't want that to happen ever. Are beavers eating? Skewers and just not getting the bonus from them. They should be, yeah. I believe they are. Yeah, 20, 14 out of 20. Still need to build. Sorry, is this the wrong one? Oh, I built the wrong one. Unless they're eating raw roots, yeah? Hmm. I should probably force them to eat it, huh? So they don't eat the roots. So you're out of two events looted, so I got one prestige for looting two events eventually. What? This is not how I thought this was going to work. It has four slots and it likes beavers using it. Not what I thought was going to happen at all. I want to make jerky because it's way more efficient even if beavers eat it with no benefit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that's responding to. He might be saying we want to make skewers and let the beavers eat them. You might be talking about jerky, but I can't make jerky. So. I don't know why you're talking about jerky. You meant skewers. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That is all fine. Well and good. Oh, 
Okay, maybe we burn this for a while. Maybe that's a good idea. A temple. What does temple do? Very little. We do religion and ec education. Not sure I want that. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hmm, it's all burden. You're doing so well. well. I can use these. So it's not as bad. I hope they nerf living matter. I hope they keep up just like it is. Something has got to be difficult. I say this right before I die to it, so like, you know. I want to get a little bit of sea marrows stored up. Is this cornerstone? Facility is reduced by 15 points every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. Just make building materials out of planks? No. No fuel. I like that, but I'm not sure what I'm going to sell. Oh, tools? Tools actually sell really well. Okay. This field is for making... Stone fields one. That didn't take long. I wonder how many people I need on that. This field is for making money, basically. Seems to be the strap. Ooh, I have the thing where hunger is extra bad as well. So I'm going to want to burn this all the way through it. Temple makes things burn longer. Good sacrifice in the ancient hearth will burn 25% longer. Okay, let's uh let's grab that. Don't need all these blight fighters. Holy shit, I have to start it, like, now? <laughs> wow, that is... Okay. That's too much. Let's drop carpenter work. Drop this. How much of this do I have? Eight. So I kind of need to drop one of the greenhouse workers. Drop you. It's still only four. Five, six... And we can drop these two as well if needed. Yeah, this one's nasty. I want to keep goods, I think. It'll give me 30 food after I finish it, at worst. I do have a minute before I have to start it. I think that's okay, though. I got three. I got three. Planting crops as fast as sea marrow training gear. More sea marrow. More planting crops as fast as no food in them. To find fuel. Yeah. Hmm. Turning 20 blight rod cysts seems completely free.
These eat five food items every 10 seconds. And there are three of them. So every minute I'm losing 90. So I'm losing all of my food. Fifty one, it burns. Stack it three times. Alright, we need to finish this staff it and then we burn seam arrow times three. And hopefully we're okay. Is having food important? I mean yes. <laughs> yeah, technically yes. Okay, do you want more beavers on this? It's not a priority right now though, I guess. Right now we're focusing on dying. Every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. Wait a second, isn't the trade roads? Trade roads? Trade roads? Isn't that trade wood? I feel like the trade routes count for that. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Talking's tough. Watch the food supply drop. It's best not to look, actually. I'm gonna get 60% faster planting of crops. Imagine if I had any uh, food generating things to plant crops with. That'd be cool. I also don't have any free people to like do things. Unfortunately. Cuz I'd like to build another greenhouse. It suddenly feels relevant. Not clear to you why fertilizer is helpful when you're bottlenecked by harvesting speed. Um, well, you can drop workers during the harvest, I think is the answer. It's kind of an unsatisfying answer. Zoom. How much faster is that? It says it's plus 75%. 252 to 113. I don't think that's plus 75%. I think that's how math works. All the skewers are gone? Fuck. What the hell? And eat those. I think. Look at skewer production real quick. Um, I have the left side of it a lot better than the right side, I think. Okay. So you can eat mushrooms, I guess. I'd like you to eat mushrooms. It's only 16 per minute. Oh yeah, because I'm staffing the temple. Clever. In real life, you apparently have to dry wood before building anything more elaborate than a small hut with it. Ah, I'm sure that the wood's perfectly dry. <laughs> Seems dry to me. I kept this, so my meat production's plus two. I'm sure that's useful for some reason. I wonder where my meat is coming from. I 
Oh, this actually works with trading. Holy moly. That's pretty good, actually. Like more of these. Time to make more of those. We did it. We did it. That's done. That's not done. Five more seconds. Do, 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 do. Okay, I survived it. <laughs> more people. Do you have food? You do. Heal. Welcome. Um, I'd like to build more of... Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. This is clearly... <laughs> I only actually planted three of those. So I guess I'll need more beavers on that in general. Remember that for next time. I have four people to build stuff with. Up a beaver from here, here, and here. And get back on woodcutting maybe. Because I ran through all of my fuel. Yep, I ran through all of my fuel, so we're going to be burning wood again very soon. I can do this glade as well. I think I'll get ready for this one next, though. Okay, there was a lot of fuel in the event. I guess that's good news. Why do I have so much food all of a sudden? Don't know. I'm gonna take Amber over new people, because I can't feed new people, I don't think. I'm going to stop doing that. This is mushrooms that I can harvest. That's meat that I can harvest? But I need one tool. I don't think I have a tool. Unfortunate. Explorer's Lodge gives two resolve constantly at the moment. I don't want to man that right now, but I could at another time. Living matters still multiply if you complete the progress bar, but don't retrieve the rewards. Seriously? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's uh, kind of terrifying. Might be time to have one more of these, yeah? Mm, we're about to have this not work anymore. Mushrooms and meat. Stop eating those. You can eat eggs, I guess. I never put someone back on that. That's probably the issue. One of the issues. I have three woodcutting things. Five builders? Could use planks. Oh, weird. So I want to upgrade this first. Let's make three beaver houses. I want to upgrade this first because it has the Explorer's Lodge in it. 
Queen's Impatience seems high, or is that not that bad? It is pretty high. Um, you're not totally wrong. I think that we're okay. It's only year four. One of the reasons that it's high is that we did an event which made it speed up. Also don't have a human to run the hearth though. Mm, we already got well, one reputation from those. Whoa, 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 I'm doing education. I don't even know how. Because nobody's in the buildings. I thought people had to be in the buildings for that to happen. I guess we're doing education. Okay. Well, it's not like totally worthless, probably. Maybe I shouldn't have given away 20 roots. Maybe I'm going to come to regret that. Mm, I don't know. This root delivery line that I got at the start of the game is kind of carrying. He had a dead town, dangerous glade, and got three ruins from it. The ones with lots of uh, buildings in them. Those ones are sweet. It was the uh, make more blight fighters signal. Okay, I only need two this time. Yeah, seems completely fine. I did harvest all of these. Let's run to three of these next time. My woodcutter is full. I don't understand where all of these population are from. Like, what happens now? Global food production is 15% slower. Probably not worth. Stuff to do here. Kind of. My favorite biome? I think this one's the one I'm most comfortable on in terms of like, can I win? But I think the one with the weird stuff in the trees is my favorite. Love weird shit being in the trees. Carl Forest. Yeah, chopping trees to find meat. That's not to like. I have trades for the storm. Some reeds. Sure, I'll allow it. Some herbs. Oh, I have so many of these. I wonder if that's what I'm making packs of provisions out of, actually. Luxury goods? Like 15 of those? Does the minus hostility trait apply when you send the trait root? Or when you collect. I think it's when you get the money. Yeah, I think it's definitely when you get the money. Did I get this? I need that. And then I need... 
two more of these. I'm gonna make a fence corner. It doesn't actually show which direction it's facing. I think that works though. Um, and then I need to take this thing and put it up here. Oh shit. Uh, uh, disaster. <laughs> Absolute disaster. Is this out of things to harvest? Could it go like there? Good. Can't I harvest the roots? Why would I want to delete the roots? Maybe I can't. Someday I might want to, though. I both might be able to and might want to. Run one more person in the greenhouse pretty easily. We came here in a caravan. Why do we start completely surrounded by fog of war? People seem to teleport in. It seems to be the way it works. It's best not to ask. A couple more beavers. Five people to do something with. Ooh. Hostility must have come down from something. Oh, um, did you deliver this stuff? Yes. Should have gotten it earlier, but good to get it eventually. <laughs> the Citadel has a giant catapult. Wonderful. This looks bleak. Ah, uh, it's better than it looks. It's a lot better than it looks. Is about to be a district. Did that take a person from here? No. Oh, good. Still one person without a house. Why is there a tiny bonus jorbs? That's many jorbs. Just hanging out. Do you feel like um, resolve is kind of low, though? Ah, hey, at least I didn't starve to death yet. Left side's good. Right side is uh, okay-ish. Is there nothing else that small foragers camp does? Shut. That's not great. Make another herbalist's camp and grab these. Do I want berries? Berries don't go into skewers, huh? One would not make a skewer out of berries. That would just be weird. So I could harvest those. It's a long way to walk. It's still worth doing. Hey, Wasqui. Berries do go into skewers. Oh shit, they do. 
Imagine eating a skewer with berries in it. Ew. It's messed up. Anyway. Six resin, twenty two stone. Probably want that for bricks later. Tomatoes are just berries, and we put tomatoes on skewers all the time. I think calling that chaotic, uh, chaotic neutral would be generous. Cut through the forest to discover three forbidden glades. Forbidden glades. I would rather not. Look at all this wildfire essence. Imagine if I did that and I didn't die. That would be kind of surreal. Um, one forbidden glade. Two forbidden glades. Three forbidden glades. Four. Fl oh. One. Two. Three. I mean, I could do it. Gives three global resolve buff. I feel like it will probably also kill me. What if I just didn't do that? What if I did like this or something? That looks a bit less suicidal. Um, presumably there's a traitor here. Presumably I got a cornerstone. Ancient tablet for every two completed glade events. All trade routes are faster by 40%. Oh, it's the loot box merchant. Oh, shit. Loot box time? What else am I going to do with the money? One nineteen. So I get three more, six more before you leave. 57. Small number of goods and one uncommon perk. Large number of goods and two epic perks. Two epic perks? I mean, come on. What are we gonna do, not take two epic perks? Seems kind of hard to believe. I'll get three from this. I have auto clocked on? What? <laughs> I didn't realize that. This is easy. Keeping goods completes a quest. I don't think I want these ones though. I am apparently running out of this. I could build another one. I couldn't build another one. I don't have any planks. Need all the packs of luxury goods I'm going to. Uh, yeah, but this is easy and it's not difficult. It's not threatening in any way. I can gather more clay if I want. I cannot gather vegetables. I can gather vegetables. There's more fertile ground. It's just like, it's too far away. They don't actually make food on it. 
seems to be the issue. There's this to do. I have copper bars. Exactly two of them. Okay, right. y'all ready? This is where we win. Boom. Three vegetables per minute, 10% move speed. Four ancient tablets, 40 skewers, 40 cosmetics, and 40 incense. 10% move speed's good. Uh, veggies per minute is probably okay. Can you make vegetable skewers? Yeah. Um... I don't know about the other stuff. I think I probably make more packs of luxury goods. Which means I can just sell these ones. Oh, and the ancient tablets. Maybe I should hold on to some of the ancient tablets in case I get to you. Send them as trade route stuff. What are we doing here? Gain to minus 30. Okay. Look at how fast everybody is. Oh, also, do I have tools? I will eventually have tools. Impatience is killing me somewhat soon. <laughs> somewhat soon, really. So I don't have any room to make mistakes here, I don't think. Just won't make any mistakes. Easy game. What does Prestige 17 add? Uh, you'd think I'd remember that, having just started it, but I actually don't. Anyone? <laughs> what, <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> Food shortage is harsher. Okay, there you go. Plus two to meat production. And we are harvesting meat. And that's the left side of the skewer, and the right side of the skewer is getting eight per minute, just passively. So probably doing pretty well here. U17 plus living matter is GG. I just fought living matter. I did completely fine. Um, 30 reeds? These feel okay, those turn into fabric. High level of corruption. I have six people to put in houses. Random pack gave me 60 trading packs, it looks like. Yeah, something vaguely like that. Okay, 
It is getting close, that impatience thing. Did I take the thing that gives me... I think I took the thing that gives me, like, a last stand bonus. I believe that's a thing I did. I have seven people who are just not doing anything. I don't really have anything for them to do. Both woodcutters camps are working. I just don't really have, like, buildings. Oh, we could do this. That seems okay. I still have four people with nothing to do, though. And the carpenter more. Could build another ring collector and another greenhouse. Oh, I am trying to do that and failing. Good to know. Why is the queen so angry and impatient? I don't know. I think we've made some bad decisions, probably. This glade was easy to solve the quest in, but it wasn't like a super great glade, really. That hat didn't kill me. Much better is greenhouse versus small farm. It's currently infinitely better, as I do not have a small farm. I think I could beat the Stormbird. Maybe I should do a Forbidden Glide. Altar is basically pay to win. Is it? Blue bar is under the trade routes. Ah, this is leveling up the town. Once we get to standing level two, with three of them, we'll complete a quest. It also sends us better, um, better trades or something like that. Need twenty-five building materials. That feels like a lot. Point one two per minute. Got him. Hey, speed! Yeah, the game's awesome. Been having a lot of fun with that. I have no spark jam. Feels like a bit of a problem. Do these make those? They do. What am I using them for? Minus 15 hostility, apparently. Oh, I'm using them for packs of provisions, huh? Probably okay to also use berries at this point. I 
haven't gone this hard on the trading post recently. A little bit different. We have a lot of slow burn orders, like things that will eventually get done. Probably true. Really wants my part. I think I'm a no on that. Uh Not having fuel seems bad. I have 400 wood. We're okay. Thanks. This must be done now. Where are my harpies? I have seven of them. Why is trading only one way? I don't know. If I trade that away, I no longer have five parts. It is the town that I'm closest to level two with, though. I would be level two with it immediately. I, I don't think so. Slowly, but surely. This is how a life is taken. Sacrifice oil, coal, and wood. Am I ever going to do that? I don't know. 25 packs of building materials, 30 packs of... 30 packs of crops? 30 packs of crops. I can actually do that, I think. Two's enough again. Trying to get kind of a sense for that. I see why people think harpies are strong. Perhaps I could say I see why harpies are strong. What does this do? Global food production of 15% slower. Mm. Seems unnecessary to have that happen. Check the trading post. Have some crystallized dew apparently. Rather sell tools than crystallized you. Tools sell for more, and they turn crystallized you into tools. Oh, all well, my roots are full. Nicholson, thanks for the 30 months. Appreciate it. Minus 
Almost 75 hostility from protected trade. It's only your five. It's only your five? Ow. That feels kind of... Kind of ridiculous. Hmm. Sometimes you go a lot faster than other times, I guess. 12 herbs for 6 amber is a hot deal. You get a lot of really good deals at the trading post. Max of crops. Mushrooms. One tool. Sure, have one tool. Impatience really making me feel the time. Yeah, it's surprising. It's only year five, but impatience is so close. Feels kind of surprising to me anyway. I did lose... Wait, did I? Did I have three people die? I think I did. So yeah, if I lose the run, it's probably because I had three people die. I didn't need to. I just didn't man the blight post fast enough. We did it, we're level 2, and level 2. I think this one's about to be level 2 as well. You can have some crystallized you, why not? I think I didn't lose any people this round. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and doubt that climb. I did get the blight post up in time? Hmm. Well, shit, if I did, I did. Twelve tools, thirty more amber, forty water skin. Uh, I can always turn that in for impatience down, but I don't think I need it at this exact moment. I actually need planks. Hmm. Carpenter's doing good work. I was correct that I only needed one of those. Very rich if only a merchant would come by. I think I had zero amber the last time a merchant came by. So in one year, I have made that much amber. Hundred and twenty amber in one year, which means that in one year I got minus seventy-five basically from protected trade. So hostility is going downward instead of upward over time. on more trade routes or don't know probably not what is fine for fuel food looks to be fine I'll open this one first. And then assuming that this one is easy, I'll do the other one too. Baptism of fire. Okay. Stamping mill. Am 
I don't want any of this. Uh oh. my first pottery on my first copper bars. Buying stuff, buying these doesn't reduce hostility. I could just buy all the infused tools. I'm gonna do that, I don't really know why. Cannot buy all the infused tools. Not <laughs> even particularly close to all of them. Okay. A temple. I already have a temple. Pickled goods and jerky. Everybody eats jerky? No, but everybody eats pickled goods or jerky. Building materials here. I have a feeling that these will end up being useful somehow. They just usually seem to. I have stored right now 18. Honestly, I'd rather just make the jerky and eat it, I think. Twenty fourteen. I would like some Lizard housing, beaver housing, six beaver houses, three beaver houses, three beaver houses, and one, no, just three beaver houses, two beaver houses for now, actually. But I kind of need more... Stuff first. Also, am I doing this event or what? Uh, with tools, maybe? I could keep it. I could send it. I'll send it. This one's completely free. I don't need these new people. Let's do another one. Do you get to pick your villager species or is it predetermined? Uh, you get to pick your starting caravan, which will have one or two in it to start. And then 
the last one or two are random from there. You don't know what they're going to be. Did I use tools instead of packs of provisions? That's kind of... It's kind of intense. exactly the same thing. It appears to be exactly the same thing. Send to this one as well. Uh, I can probably just win with tools now. Three of those. Plus three of these. Is... 5.25 reputation that doesn't quite win what's making tools my farms weirdly what if I opened this as well next year I think I think next year <laughs> Loki Bear, happy holidays. I'm glad you enjoy it. I have no builders anymore. How are the farms making tools? This is making crystallized dew. These people are turning the crystallized dew into tools. Slowly. Sell infused tools. Is that less than I bought them for? I feel like it's less than I bought them for. That must be a good deal though. Sneaky Badger, thanks for 10 months. I appreciate it. Uh, humans are good here, but I don't have any humans to do this. from that. I don't think 10 Ember can actually buy two infused tools. So maybe I shouldn't be doing that. I should get another reputation point here that keeps me alive more. I'll complete the events which will give me reputation points. Another one, anyway. Our reputation game is strong, but a little slow, maybe. Clay pit, clay and reeds, druids huts, oil, incense, and coats. Oil, incense, and coats. It's not terrible. Kind of excited about the oil. Eh, I have enough fuel. Reroll? Better jerky. Reroll? Why are tools so fragile? Like, why do they break when used? Oh. 
It's not very uh, well built. I mean, I built them. I have no idea how to build tools. Keep rerolling. <laughs> like, hmm. can I make training gear? Not really. Can I make cosmetics? Kinda. I have some eggs. Can't use them though. Can I make reroll again. Please explain why entropy exists. I don't know. I think uh, if you don't assume that anything is going to be permanent, you can just enjoy everything. And despite the way in which it's temporary, something like that. I really don't want to have to pay a bunch of Amber to reroll this as well. Twenty-five for a reroll worth it. Well, there are some buildings that just kind of instantly win me the game, and then there's everything else, and so within that context it feels reasonable especially given that i'm making 125 amber per year or something i might be making more than that This is still not it. I'm just gonna take something at this point. Better bricks and pie. Am I growing my fertile ground tiles? I'm growing crystallized dew on them, which is getting turned into tools. So eventually I'm growing tools. Can make flour and can make pie. Wait. I didn't realize that I actually had all the parts of that. So, that's my supplier. This is my pies. I have zero planks. I do have some bricks, though. Eventually, I'll make planks. They're in the mail. They're on their way. Metal all we have is crystal and copper and the ring degrades everything so the tools don't last long. I'm into it. That is a sufficient lore explanation for me. I'm gonna get another two resolve here. It's like I'm very close to founding an outpost. Am I not making these? I am making them. Oh yeah. Very easily. Oh, I can make flour now. Can I make flour now? You have to use roots for it, yeah? Roots and mushrooms make flour. I guess I can. Make some water skins at some point if I want. That's going to give me a lot more resolve because um, everybody's going to be eating pies and shit now. 
Actually, it's not that much more resolve. And the biscuits. Why is this a place where you can make jerky? What do you make that make sense? Jerky and pickled goods. My lizards have no houses. It's okay though. Coats? Only beavers care about coats, and I don't really have any fabric. To do it anyway, I think. People in the blight post. I'm so proud of me. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of me. Yeah, I will probably need all three this time. Small love, cutie things of the 15 months. Appreciate it. About to get Pyromania. I'm not even, like, I don't even have to do anything. It's broken. It's so strong. I don't have any packs of provisions now. I do not. I find another builder. Oop, another glade event. I got close. I got close on reputation. Looks like I'm good. I should cut through to that. Oh. Grill. Better skewers. Smelter. Worse biscuits. Go for the grill for better skewers. I don't think I'm prioritizing that one. Harpies, I have seven. <laughs> Cooking in a metal smelter. Wait, where? Here? Where am I cooking in a metal smelter? Is it as delicious as it sounds like it would be? People... I don't know if I'll ever need a part, but maybe. Seems possible, right?
I feel like this is going to mess up my other neighborhoods. It's going to pull people who live in shelters in my other neighborhoods to here, and they're going to have to live here. So I'm just going to put regular houses down to make sure that the people who just arrived go live here and nobody else does. Never have any planks despite running carpenter under full capacity all the time. It is doing other stuff. It's making a lot of tools. In fact, it's like probably making tools most of the time. We'll keep these ones. That greedy? Kinda greedy. It's machinery though. Relevant chunk of the planks it makes are going into making the tools. Yep, very true. I could be making these out of wood, maybe. It would probably be a lot more effective. But I mean, you know. <laughs> gonna do about it. I'm also making the building materials. I, I, like, it's my own fault. Definitely my own fault. This is not going to finish before the trader leaves. I think I'll sell it small. We do two small ones. I have 10 flour. I'm making biscuits. We're doing it. Zephyr. Zephyr, I'm making biscuits. Bricks are better here. Oh, bricks are already better somewhere else, maybe. I don't know. Pie. Looks like I can make pie out of any of those. This one's a priority. Isn't it more efficient to use those blanks instead of raw wood? Yeah, it's the processing time is the problem. Cornerstone, vineyard time. All fuel recipes are, nope. Biscuit diet, meat specialization. Um, I, this doesn't do anything. None of that does anything. Jerky production? Coat production, cosmetics production. Jerky production, I'm actually like making that, so that seems good. Go coat production too. Uh, give me all that. Give me all your building supplies. I will give to you a lot of those and also some of these. And you may have some resin because I'm feeling generous. Enjoy. This perk is giving me minus 240 hostility. I forgot to do this. I imagine I'll be okay. To be honest? Possible I don't have much reason to open that. This make cloaks. This makes cloaks. And it feels like if I just let my builders build their shit. Um, oh, well, I've opened the glade, so never mind. <laughs> way, way to go, me. Good decision making. All right, what is it? Let's see, Fishman Outpost. Cooked and raw food disappears. And we can no longer fell trees. If I kept it, I would get a prestige. If I sent it to the capital, I would also get a prestige. 25% chance of death after eating. <laughs> that feels like it would cause me to lose. I don't know. Um. Kind of messed up. 
Why doesn't this glade have anything good in it? There's a workshop. Oh, look at that! It's a cool building. I had a run which started with a workshop early and it was super strong. I did get one more prestige from that as well. So this is a two prestige glade. And the only cost is uh, my 500 food. Gets uh, chewed into a little bit, but I'm kind of over it. That seems fine. Trapper's camp goes where? Trapper's camp goes nowhere. Trapper's camp can't trap anything anymore. Oops. Maybe build another one of these then? Maybe build another one of these then. Six twenty seven. Hmm. Turn this a bit. When we're ready. At any moment. I need people in here. I need people in here. Working? Working. I don't want this to still be going at the storm. I'll just burn probably all of my sea marrow. Better coats? I don't. I don't have the heart. I just spent such a long time making that other building that makes coats. It's too much work. Uh, tools done working. Looks like I've done all of my caches. If I salvage this, I get plus one global resolve, huh? Because of this building, which I am still working. Currently, we're at two from it. Maybe up to three. I don't know if that's really been worth building and working this entire time, but it is a thing that I've been doing. I don't really ever need more than like 30 of those. I have about a 75% chance that this is not poison. I like those odds. I mean, sometimes you get hungry. Look at all the stuff that's trapped in here. Simply stop feeding everyone. That would make people very, very upset. Is that the ocean? Yeah, for some reason there's water around you, which doesn't make any sense. If you like look at the world map, it doesn't make any sense. Are we looting this? We are. So there's that plus thing. Mm. One, two, three. Oh, well, yeah. GG. Alright. Twitter has banned linking to other platforms and then reverted that ban. I mean, I bow to Elon Musk's wisdom. It's a person who knows what he is doing. 
Uh, yep. GG. 7 ER1. Not too bad. So do highlight on. Level 16! Hidden from the Queen. The crown doesn't need to know everything. Impatience doesn't grow when villagers leave or die. Overexploitation. Newly discovered resource nodes have more charges. But you gain 45 hostility upon picking this cornerstone. Interesting. 10 amber for every 5 completed trade routes. There is nothing the forest hates more than fire. Every 5 villagers with a need for religion fulfilled decrease the forest hostility by 25. Okay. These ones are like kind of complicated. One part every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. What am I going to do with all those parts? Old warehouses? Hmm. A serious amber orb with a magical flame trapped within increases the ancient hearth's resistance by plus 50 for every impatience point you have. All of those seem kind of bad. Like, none of them are super obviously win the slam, win the run. My cornerstone pool just got worse. Could I go back to level 15? Would it be possible to undo the decision to level up? Any chests? Any chests? And artifacts. I could do this run. Monks of the Holy Flame are a fanatically egalitarian order. You cannot forbid food consumption or favor any species. Ooh. Soil is too acidic. There is no fertile soil anywhere in this region. This would be a great way to lose. You start with 50 hostility points. That's actually 150. That would also be a great way to lose. All right. I'm not going to do those. I didn't lose yet, and I don't want to lose, so I am I'm not going to <laughs> not going to do those. I did do the Fishman Ritual site. Oh, it looks like 16 is max level. Experience 0 out of 10,000. I was told I would want Amber Embarkation. really get to that. Maybe it's finally time for me to start dying. Embarkation point seems real strong. Amber Embarkation becomes very important soon. Tell me why or don't tell me. <sighs> you get more resources for embarking on negative spots. What? What does that mean? Oh, you're answering a different question, I see. You have to pay Amber to open glades. Uh oh. Right, it still seems like you could win without it, but good to know. Go here and die? Go here and die is one strategy. So no fertile ground. <laughs> do you still get offered farm blueprints? I assume you do. Hey, I'm in the lead right now. Wait, no, I'm not in the lead right now. Fucking orange. The fuck? I'm gonna do the marshlands next. Hopefully, I have things for 14 months. Uh, 
What did I buy? I don't remember. Internal storage or something? Bleah. Bleah. <laughs> we could take oil. There's clay in one of the embarkations. So I probably take the embarkation with clay. It has nine lizards. You know, like, lizards are okay, but gosh. Don't know if I want nine of them and nothing else. Sacrifices in the hearth cost more. Nine. You like taking stone to make stone roads? Yeah, I like it did that once or twice. Then I started to feel a little bit too cramped on resources to feel like it was okay to do that. You're only slightly confused by the overworld. I have not embarked with a small farm yet. I embarked with the herbalist's camp once. Anyway, I'm gonna go have dinner. Um, I'm gonna have to stream again soon. Maybe tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. This game's awesome. I'm very into it, to the point of like not doing other things that I should probably be doing. So, yeah, we'll we'll work on that. I am glad you're all enjoying watching, though. I'll see y'all soon. Jump on the Discord if you want to hang out with us. I think this is actually a command now. You can also find all my.